The BDA audit is a specialist third-party accredited on-site audit provided by the British Drilling Association for the UK land drilling industry. The audit was introduced by the BDA in 2006 to provide a service to its members. This was in order to help meet industry standards and regulations. But the audit is much more than that. Here's precisely why a BDA audit is needed. Principally, UK drilling contractors are required to comply with industry standard BSEN ISO 22475. That's a given. Everybody knows that, right? Great. But what does that really involve? Well, 22475 Part 1 outlines how ground investigations should be conducted. It's called the Technical Principles for Execution. Part 2 stipulates what qualifications each person involved in the GI must have. Part 3 is the part that is applicable to the BDA audit as it dictates that qualified operators, in this case drillers, must undergo conformity assessments. These assessments are intended to make sure drillers are complying with criteria outlined in Part 2. Part 3 also states that this assessment must be carried out by an independent and competent body. That's not just competent in terms of the ability to assess, it's competent in terms of knowledge of ground investigation. Now, let's couple 22475 with the Construction Design and Management Regulations, better known simply as CDM. CDM stipulates that all workers must have the skills, knowledge, training and experience to carry out their jobs. Even to the layman, there's now a pattern starting to form. Next, we'll throw in the UK specification for ground investigation, better known as the Yellow Book. This book is prepared by the Association of Geotechnical and Geoenvironmental Specialists and published by the Institution of Civil Engineers. The Yellow Book states, All land drilling operatives shall hold as a minimum a valid and current audit card of competence. Combine these three things and it becomes evident that regularly proving ongoing competency is a vital measure to help ensure GI contractors are meeting industry standards and regulations. But what is ongoing competency? What needs to be checked to comply with CDM 22475 and Yellow Book? 22475 actually spells this out pretty simply. In terms of assessing the driller, the following needs to be checked. Basic knowledge of the purpose of the GI. How to handle and store samples. How to take a borehole log. Basic soil and rock description of samples being taken. How to use and maintain your equipment. How to comply with your employer's quality assurance system. Knowledge of health and safety on site. Operating the equipment correctly and safely. The only thing that can capture all of this in an assessment is an on-site audit of a driller on a live working site. The good news? The BDA can do that for you. Not only that, but you'll have the added extra security of the audit being internally verified by the BDA's dedicated audit management. Plus, third-party external verification from industry assessment body, the Mineral Products Qualification Council, MPQC. That's three levels of guarantee that if you have a driller that is BDA audited, they are working to the required industry standards and regulations, and they are competent to do whatever GI you can throw at them. Safe, quality, and technically proficient. What more could you want?